friends i hope you guys are doing well i am i just woke up so i feel like my throat sounds weird just give me i'm gonna drink some hot lemon water maybe that'll help um but i wanted to do a little weekend in my life this week kind of spontaneous i didn't really expect to be filming today but here we are just kind of felt like filming and talking to the camera and having fun so i am basically going to be going downtown today i'm seeing my friend claudy and we are going to be booking tickets to go to banff in the summertime and i'm very very excited i haven't been to banff in a few years and i really loved it there it was really beautiful the nature was just incredible and i'm also just dying to get out of Ontario, like dying. I I can't, I can't, I feel like I'm suffocating. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be really exciting. We're just gonna go to a little cafe, bring our laptops and then finally seal the deal because we've been talking about it for a while now. And that is all that I have planned for the weekend. Sundays are usually my reset days, so I'll kind of take you through what a little Sunday in my life looks like. And yeah, that's pretty much the update. I don't have much to talk about right now, so I'm just gonna finish getting ready. And then I'll show you the final look, I'll show you my outfit for the day, and then we'll head out to Toronto. Okay, this is my outfit. I just have on this sweater. It is from Mandy Salad and on the back It's like it has a saying. I think it's like hey, you, you're beautiful But I've just kind of folded it up and put it under my sports bra to crop it and then I'm wearing these jeans They are from Abercrombie. They're the 90s straight cut jeans and they have a little like, slit right there and then just all my jewelry and my malachite necklace I have on these uh, these earrings are from Princess Polly. I can't remember where these ones are from. I think Urban Outfitters. My Pandora ring, my Pandora bracelet, my Majuri ring, another Etsy ring, my Carnelian bracelet, and I'm gonna slap on my Apple Watch. And I'm ready to go. And I gotta go now because I am officially running late. We love that. but I literally grew up on Spanish music and I fucking love it. It's such good music and it makes me so happy and I'm so happy my mom literally played it throughout my entire childhood. <laughs> Increases from 112 to 476. Why does that? Why is that happening? I suppose we are not booking today because that doesn't make any sense. So if anybody understands why that happens, please comment down below because I really need to know what's going on. <laughs> I am back from 
downtown. We had a good time. We got brunch, which was nice. I was cut off from speaking when I was in my car complaining about the cold, which was so rude, but my battery died. So I was filming a lot of my clips on my phone, but it's okay because the iPhone 13 quality is just amazing. And I can't stop raving about it because I just recently got it a couple days ago and I'm still obsessed. So, you know, we're looking at the positives here. But yes, we got breakfast. I had the paleo waffles at Impact Kitchen, which were so good. And a cappuccino and then this amazing sea salt gluten-free cookie, which I'm still eating. But it's so freaking good and I'm obsessed and I still have a little bit left and... It's just, it's been amazing, but it's really sweet, so I can only eat a little bit at a time, and I have to drink water while I, while I eat it, because otherwise it'll hurt my mouth. I don't know if that's a normal thing, or if you guys feel like that when you eat really sweet things, but let me know if that's a thing for you. And after that, we went to a different cafe, and we just sat there trying to book flights, but for some reason, every time we would click the flight that said it was 112, it would change to 400 and something. So we were like, okay, let's just wait for a sec just to see if things change or not. Um, and hopefully maybe like Wednesday, we'll just bite the bullet and book whatever we can find. But it was kind of annoying because it was like 112 and then as soon as you click it, it was all of a sudden 400 and something. So I don't know why I kept doing that. But so that was kind of a bust. But it's okay, because we still had a good day. It was freezing, 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 freezing today. The wind, I can hear it right now outside of my window. Negative 16 degrees. Why? Last Sunday was 16 degrees. Now it's negative 16 degrees. I hate March. It's horrible. It keeps teasing you, and then all of a sudden it's like freezing cold for the next week. And then there's that one day of nice weather, and then all of a sudden again, it's like freezing cold for another week. I love it. I love living here detect the sarcasm um but yeah so then after that we just kind of went into a bookstore and then drove home and i was in traffic for a little bit but then i finally got home and i have just been chilling on tiktok and not really doing much eating this cookie and i don't really know what i'm gonna be doing today i don't know if i'm gonna watch something or i don't know i guess we'll see now i just have no saturday night plans i'm just kind of chilling it's 6 p.m right now and I don't really have any other updates either, so I guess I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Sunday. So it is pretty late into Sunday actually. It's 4 30 now, but in the morning I didn't really do much. The time change really messed me up today and I ended up waking up pretty late compared to what I usually try to aim for. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let myself sleep because next week my goal is to basically wake up every single day at 7 a.m. and I'm praying that that happens. So I was like, you know what? Today I'm just gonna sleep until whenever I want because of the time change and then this whole week I'm gonna be waking up early so it's fine. But yeah, and then I just had lunch with my family and then I had to drive my brother to soccer practice which is pretty far out. He plays for a different city than the one that we live in so we pretty much drove half an hour to like 40 minutes to a soccer practice and then he basically is just in practice for about an hour and a half so I just cafe hop. I just look for new cafes every time I come here but I found one that I'm literally obsessed with so I come here every so often. I don't uh, take him to practice every Sunday but when I do take him to practice I come here and it's just such a great place. It's a little European cafe. They play some, I don't know what music it is. I don't know if it's Greek music but some type of European, Eastern European, Mediterranean music and it's so great and the food is amazing. Today I had a cheesecake that was absolutely to die for and a cappuccino with oat milk, which is funny because I'm like, do you have oat milk? Yes, amazing. And I'm gonna get the cheesecakes. It's like, yeah, no dairy, 
in my coffee, but I will have a cheesecake. Like, why am I the way that I am? But yeah, it was so freaking good, and I just spent the uh, time that I was there editing my Sunday reset routine, which I'm going to be uploading tonight, so it'll be up by the time this video is up, and I will have it linked for you guys to watch. I don't know if I, like, love it. It's very different from my normal videos. It's very short and like kind of like I filmed a lot of it at night because it was my Sunday research routine. I filled it in real filmed it in real time. So I don't really know if I'm like obsessed with it or not, but we'll see. I will still put it up, but I don't know. I've had this like problem recently where no matter what I film or edit, I am just not happy with it. I don't like the content that I've been putting out. I don't know, I think I'm just being really hard on myself and I'm also playing the comparison game I think a little bit too where I just, I don't know, I feel like every time I put something out, I just don't love it. I, it's very, very strange, but it's been going on for the past few months and that's also why my uploads haven't been consistent because I will be filming so much and then I'll just be like, you know what, this is, not a good video and I won't upload it. I don't know. But that's kind of what I've been going through recently and I had a little bit of anxiety last night which you kind of saw. I just wanted to be transparent and show that, you know, like my everyday isn't amazing and that I obviously go through shit and everybody does and everybody feels a certain type of way sometimes because you can't have ups without downs and yesterday, this past week really, I've just not been feeling great been feeling really anxious, really overwhelmed, and also just like not good enough in anything that I do, which I don't love that feeling, but that's just kind of how it's going. Uh, recently, I'm trying my best to get out of it. Even today, I wasn't in a great mood, but then I got, I went to the cafe and you know, the food that I had was so good and the coffee and I just had a good time and it kind of brought me out of my mood a little bit, so that was kind of nice. But like I think the weather too is just awful. It's snowing right now and it's just, I'm so over it. The weather really affects my mood um, quite a bit. And it's even worse when there's a day where it's really, really nice. And then all of a sudden there's an entire week where it's really not nice. And so it's kind of like almost like a tease where it's like I kind of feel like myself again. And then all of a sudden I feel just like a hermit again. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's just a bunch of different things, but I don't know. I'm just trying to work through it, trying my best to make every day count and to make every day a good day and to appreciate every single little part of my life because I know every single thing is temporary. That's kind of my little spiel. I'm gonna go and pick my brother up now and then head on home and I'll catch you guys when I'm there. Uploading my video. It is going out tonight. I'm happy. It's going out on time. I'm excited. Oh my god, this is so amazing. I'm so happy. We look forward oh to welcoming you. Wait. This is so freaking amazing. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm like, I can't wait. I'm gonna like literally look at all the Airbnbs right now. So we booked the tickets. I was literally, I just sent Claudi a TikTok and she responded to me and we were just talking about how we would be the best travel buddies. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go and check to see if the tickets are back to a normal price and not like $500 just randomly, even though it said that they were 112. So I checked and we did it. We booked the tickets, we paid, it was like $117 and then plus like 60 bucks for the um, bags, checked bags. So literally all in all, like about $180 I'm so excited. We're going to leave on a Thursday. We're going to come back on a Monday. So we have all Friday, all Saturday, all Sunday, and then um, a little bit of uh, the morning of Monday and the night of Thursday. It's super exciting. I'm so happy. We're both having quite a week. So this is just such a great way to end the week. I'm so grateful. We're so blessed and I'm just... I'm very excited for everything that is to come. So I just wanted to update you guys and tell you that right now I'm just working on my thumbnail for my Sunday reset routine. That's just what she looks like right now. I really like the way that it's turned out. And yeah, so that is pretty much the update. What a great way to end the week. What a great way to end my Sunday. It's 7 p.m. right now, finishing the thumbnail so that I can finally just publish the video because it's done uploading. 
and the rest of the night I'm just gonna be chilling like a villain. I've been in such a proactive mood. It is 9.30 and I uploaded that Sunday reset routine so you can go watch if you want. I'll have it up linked here. And I started editing another video and I'm pretty much done the rough edit of that video. So that's gonna come out soon. It is my what's on my iPhone slash iPhone 13 unboxing. So the rough edit is done and I'm just taking a break right now and I'm having this gigantic salad. I am obsessed. I love salad. Like I love it, especially if there's chicken in it. Oh, it, and olives and feta. Oh my God. A good Caesar salad slash Greek salad is just like the best thing ever. Lots of dressing. I'm obsessed. And I took a shift tomorrow at work because I saw that somebody took my shift on Friday that I uh, posted because I didn't know if I was going to be on set that day or not. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a shift tomorrow, might as well. It is a 9.45 a.m. to 2.45 p.m. shift, so it is a morning shift, and then I have all day to just do whatever I want to do for the rest of the Monday. So yeah, I've just been feeling good. I feel like I just realized that, you know what? This past week, my mindset has been really negative, and I've been complaining a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, like, about everything. And it kind of put me in this mood, or this like gave me this mentality where I felt like my entire life was just not it. I just felt unhappy about everything. I felt miserable and I was like, why do I feel like this? And it was honestly just because I was convincing myself that I was miserable. I was convincing myself that my life was an unhappy life when in reality, that's not true. It's just how I perceive it that makes it seem that way. And you know, I think that that's just, I think everything in life is just the way that we perceive it and so i was choosing to perceive my life in a negative light and so that's why i felt really horrible all week long and anxious and sad and down when i have so much to be grateful for and there's so much to look forward to and i just feel like this week i'm making it a goal to really just not complain and make it the best that i can make it and take joy in the little things in life and be super productive and i really want to focus on waking up early and having a full morning routine every single day next week so i'm really hoping that i can do that and i think that i'm going to vlog next week and just talk about how life how talk about how to make your week a really great week after having a really bad week yeah so anyways, with that being said, I'm going to continue getting my salad and I'm going to continue editing this video and without further ado, I hope you guys had a great day today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe and turn on your post notifications and leave a comment down below letting me know what your, hmm, let me know what, what you like to do on the weekends to make yourself feel better after having a shitty week. I'd love to know because I'll add it to my list of things to do when I have a bad week. And I love you guys. The moon and back. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.